armed and dangerous and on the run. This morning, officers are trying to track down two men after a police involved shooting in Delaware County. I'm the reporter Trang Doe is live in Falkroft, where police say the officer who fired at one of the suspects had a brush with death not too long ago. Trang, good morning. Yeah, that's right, Jim and Rahel. Fulcroft officer Christopher Dorman became somewhat of a local legend after he survived an ambush in 2016. Now, yesterday, he had another close call, and police are looking for the man responsible for that, as well as another man who was with him. Take a good look at this man. He's wanted in connection with the murder that happened in Chester Monday. Surveillance video captured him pointing a gun at officers who approached his car in Fullcroft just before 4.30 Monday evening. One of the officers opened fire in defense. He returned uh, several shots. Uh, and they both continued running towards Carter Road here, and that's the last we saw. That officer was Christopher Dorman, back on the force for more than a year now after he was shot seven times on the job in 2016. This time, fortunately, he was not hurt. Shot seven times, and he's back to work within several months. And uh, he wants to work. I mean, what more can I say? All my guys are good, but he wants to work, and... Uh, he's not afraid to get involved, as you can see. Officers swarmed Taylor Drive in the Delmar Village neighborhood where the two suspects were last spotted. I seen the suspect get out of the van down there and ran, but I didn't know where he ran to. Neighbors, many with kids, watched stunned as the extensive search for the men unfolded. It does concern me very much. I have two kids that live here and uh, a lot of kids on the block here. Now, police believe the two men did split up after running away from here. If you recognize the man in the video, police say do not approach him. He still may be armed. They want you to call 911 immediately. But for now, we're live from Fullcroft. I'm Trang Doe, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Jim Rahel, back to you. All right, Trang, thank you.